Good day. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do a shortcut method to solve simultaneous equation. I've watched it over the internet and I find it very useful and I want to share it with you. So the first equation is we have 5x plus 2y equal to 24 and 3x plus y equal to 15. So the trick is as follows. I'm going to go very slowly for the first two and then we're going to do very fast in the next two. So the pivot is that here, the middle number here, 1y. So what you do, you're going to take a cross multiply, you're going to multiply them across, okay? So, so the number is going to be 1, you just take the number, don't worry about the y and the x. So 1 multiplied by 5 will give you a 5, okay? And then you're going to minus the opposite end, so 3 times 2 is going to be 6. And then what you're going to do, you're going to put the x there okay because x appears first so just put x there okay don't worry about the y okay and then that is equals to do the reverse now the y the pivot to so 1 times 24 is going to be 24 okay and then you are going to minus again the opposite end 2 times 15 is 30. that's all you need to do okay so now you have to solve 5 minus 6 is going to be minus 1x and then 24 minus 30 is going to be minus 6 so your x is equal to 6 because you multiply by negative 1 on both sides once you found x you must find your y then you're going to substitute your x into either one of them i su suggest you substitute into the second equation because it's easier so 3 times 6 plus y equal to 15 so 18 plus y equal to 15 y equals to negative 3 because you minus 18 on both sides so that is how you do okay okay great now we shall do the second example the second example is on the right hand side here so the 2x plus y equal to minus 7 and 3x minus 2y equal to minus 14 so the pivot is this number here minus 2y okay so what you do you're going to cross okay so you take the number so the first number is minus 2 times 2 is going to be minus 4 and then you're going to minus the reverse 3 times 1 is going to be 3 and then because x appears first you put an x there okay if y appears first then you put a y which we'll do in example 4 okay so now you're going to do the reverse minus 2 times minus 7 is going to be 14 and then you do the reverse multiplication 1 Time minus 14 is going to be you minus minus 14. Okay? Always remember it's minus. Okay? Okay, now you're going to solve it. Minus 4 minus 3 is going to be minus 7x. And then equals to 14 minus minus 14 is 14 plus 14 is going to be 28. And then you're going to solve it. So might the x equals to negative 4 because you divide by negative 7 on both sides. Okay? Now, of course, you need to find your x, your y, I mean, okay? Because you find your x, so substitute in equation 1. So, 2 times negative 4 plus y equal to negative 7. So, negative 8 plus y equal to negative 7. You're going to be y equals to 1 because you add 8 on both sides. So, that is how you solve. So, your x is 4 and your y is 1. Okay, let's do a bit faster now. Okay, then you get the hang of it. Okay, so now you have 10x plus 9y equal to 1, 4x plus 2y equal to 2. So the pivot is here, 2. Okay, so we're going to add 2 times 10 is going to be 20. Cross, okay, 2 times 10, and then you minus 4 times 9 is going to be minus 36, and you're going to put x because the x starts first. Okay. Now we are going to do the other side. 2 times 1 is going to be 2. Minus 9 times 2 is going to be 18. Okay, now we're going to solve. 20 minus 36 is going to be minus 16x. Equals to 2 minus 18 is going to be minus 16. So solve it. x equals to 1 because you divide by 16 on both sides. Minus 16 and your answer is x equal to 1. Then to solve for your y substitute into either one, I would think the second equation is easier. So 4 times 1 plus 2y equal to 2. And then 4 plus 2y equal to 2. 2y equals to negative 2. 
and y equals to negative one, and that's the answer. Okay. Great. Now we are do the last one. Okay. The last one is slightly different. We have y starts first instead of x. It's the same procedure. So your number two x is your key point. So what you're doing two times three is going to be six. Okay. Then minus one times four is going minus minus one times four is going to be minus four. And then on this, because y starts first, you're going to put a y there, okay? So 2 times minus 12 is minus 24, minus 4 times 4 is 16, okay? So we solve it. So 6 minus minus 4 is going to be 10y equals to minus 24 minus 16 is minus 40. Then you solve it, y equal to negative 4 because you divide by 10 on both sides. Next but not least, we're going to find your x. So once you find your y, you substitute. So you substitute in equation one. So three times negative four plus four x equals to negative twelve. So minus twelve plus four x is minus twelve. Four x equals to zero because you plus negative twelve on both sides. Okay, and x equal to zero. So that will be the answer, and that is how you do shortcut to solve the mountainous equation which I find very very useful. Hope you learned something today and see you soon.